welcome to uh, the first day of the Iceland vlog. We finally feel more human. We had a terrible bout of jet lag after our flight, which was long and hot, and we thought we were going to sleep on it. We didn't at all. Nope, that didn't happen. We were so, so tired. Like, we were afraid we weren't going to be able to. Um, Frank was afraid he was going to be able to drive the car. So we went and took a nap. They say you're not supposed to, but we feel so much better. I think it's because we were going on two nights without sleep. So <laughs> all that to say, I am going to share different vlogs with you guys. And today you can tell I'm a foodie. I'm so excited. We are going into, can you see it from here? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you can't see the sign there. The big pig. big pig. Well, no, it's not in the screen. We're heading into the grocery store, and I have to tell you, when I travel to other countries, that's one of my favorite things to do, is to go see grocery stores in other countries and just see the kind of stuff they have. And we're gonna take you along with us because I know you're curious, right? So there's um, two major grocery stores in Iceland. One is called Bonus, which we're walking into that has this random little pink pig as the mascot. You'll see that inside. And then there's another one called Kronen. The bonus right next to where we're staying is closing soon, so we're gonna go in there first, and then we're gonna head to Kronen. So let's go look at cool stuff in an Icelandic grocery store. Some people are offended by the pig. I don't know why. My husband's driving the car. Now we're kind of in a suburb, so I'm sure this is just like a local grocery store for these folks, so they're probably gonna laugh that I have a big camera in here. I think it's cool. Okay, Frank is completely happy. This car is so smooth. He said apparently it's like the Cadillac of a uh, shopping cart. They have a whole separate room for produce. So you come in here, and they have all of the fruit and some veggies. Ooh, they have some apples. Now, the question is, do they have organic produce? Is this 800 kroner? No, no, no that's grams. grams. No, but I remember reading that apples are expensive here. Oh, here's the prices up here. I thought that was kind of fun. They're innocent smoothies. Haha, uh -huh, because they're for children. But look, guys, there's a whole room of scary yogurt. Okay, if you've watched any other food vlogs about Iceland, cheese is really expensive here, but we found some that doesn't look as expensive. But I think Bonus is more of a discount grocery store. Mm -hmm. But there's some brie. How much was it? Six dollars? Three dollars. Really? Are you sure we're reading that right? Yeah. Well, we may have to get some cheap cheese while we're when in Rome. So this is the meat room. Lamb is a big staple here. It's one meat I can't eat. Sorry, vegetarians, if you're watching. But it is kind of cool that they keep everything. Like there was a yogurt and milk room, and now we're in the meat room, and it's all cold and refrigerated. And then you go back outside with the non-refrigerated things. Oh, and I've read about this. Dried fish is a big thing here. There's some dried salmon. Pepperoni, ham. Oh. I don't know what that is, but um, I don't think I'm buying it. Traditional Icelandic dried fish. Apparently it's a thing. We'll probably have to try it at some point. Oh, I heard it's gross though. That's what we heard. I don't know. I love fish, but dried fish does not sound like a good thing to me. Okay, here's what I remember. See, processed sliced cheese. 18.95 kroner, which basically means 18 or 19 American dollars, 16 dollars, 10 dollars. That's some expensive cheese, y'all. So I saw this in another food vlog. Apparently this is an Icelandic treat and it's black licorice. So now we're in Cronin, which is a bigger grocery store. I'm having so much fun finding unique things here. But look at this gorgeous salmon, guys. They say that this is some of the best salmon in the world. They've just got it prepped, like you know, you would see at home. But they put like pepitas there and then just other fresh things. For my other foodies out there, you know Jamie Oliver? My best friend loves Jamie Oliver, and they have all these Jamie Oliver branded food products. So we picked up some pasta sauce to go with our Young Living Einkorn pasta, which we literally transported to Iceland. Yes, we did. It's kind of funny. I'm sure people are like, why do you have a DSLR camera and a tripod in a grocery store? But you know, when you've traveled 3,000 miles and you love seeing food of other countries, it's fascinating. They have a lot of vegan options here, which I think is really cool. Look at these ginormous tubs of peanut butter. Here's my hand for reference. I think it's about 10 US dollars. I need some peanut butter. And there's lots of pastas here, but we just thought, 
We could save some money by bringing our einkorn pasta and we packed it. I'm definitely gonna do a grocery haul when we get back to our Airbnb. We were at an amazing restaurant in Reykjavik earlier today and we had such bad jet lag. We could barely keep our eyes open. We felt dizzy, but the bread was so amazing and had I been coherent, I would have asked them if I could buy a loaf of bread there. We'll have to go back. Now we're gonna find some regular bread at the grocery store. In the bread section, this may just be a branding tool. Apparently this is the most popular bread in Iceland. But we like that they have half loaves. And I think this is 218 kroner, which would be like $2. Ooh, what's that kind of bread? That looks really interesting. Grill bread. Huh? Grill bread. <laughs> Grill bread. Sounds good. I joked that this is my husband's favorite thing. He cannot stand coconut. I like the flavor of coconut. There's some different cookies, hazelnut creams. I love the name. Looks like that might be a coffee biscuit. They don't call it oatmeal here, they call it porridge. And I feel like I need to say it. Like, I'm in Great Britain. And if you're watching my video, please don't laugh at me. But I just love it. I think it's so much nicer than saying oatmeal. We brought some and apparently we didn't need to bring that from home because they have packets here. There's lots of Nivea products here for whatever reason. I guess it's just probably made in Europe, I'm not sure. Here's some alternative milks. They have oat drink, rice milk, coconut and almond milk, almond milk, soy milk. I'm very impressed, lots of really cool stuff here that's a lot more affordable than I thought it would be since they ship in the variety of their stuff from other countries since they're an island. I didn't think it would be this affordable. Hey guys, we just got back from our epic Icelandic grocery trip. That huge bonus bag is full of groceries from Kronen. It's kind of a bigger version of a grocery store. I felt like I was going to a very small version of a Walmart versus like your local Kroger or H-E-B or Publix or something. Does that sound like a fair thing? Husband's right over here. And then this smaller bag right there has our groceries that we got from Bonus. So I'm gonna do this quick grocery haul. How fun is this? I'm finally doing a grocery haul on my channel again. And we're in Iceland. We're in our Airbnb. It's a really cute little place here. And I think we got some great loot. So uh, let me show you what I got. We got this big plastic bag that we can put wet things in or clothes or whatever food. We got some blueberries um, and this was very interesting. I asked them in the grocery stores if they had organic produce and they looked at me like I was crazy. My understanding is, is they don't grow a lot of produce here because most of the soil is volcanic lava. So you get produce from different places. And this is interesting. It'll show the origin on it. So like these are blueberries and if you can see there it says Origin is Peru, it's not focusing, but you get the idea. Uh, then we got some strawberries, then some broccoli, florets, and then uh, this is an Icelandic. And I asked a gentleman there, and I don't know if it's butter, but it's made with parsley, so some herbs and maybe some butter in there. So we are going to have that one night. Um, this is totally an impulse buy because I love European candy. And look, it's a chunky peanut butter Kit Kat. So we had to get that. And then I love chocolate and mint. It looks like this is just a little chocolate and mint bar. Then we got a Icelandic cucumber. I wonder if they grow them here. Is it has uh, Iceland on it? Um, and then this was interesting. You could buy little packets of butter and we could get like a big block of it for I think 214 kroner, which is basically like $2.14. And these packets were about 40 American cents a piece, but we decided to do this just because we didn't know how much we were going to cook and we didn't want to waste it. So that way we just have little packets if we want to get some bread from the market or something. So I guess we might change our mind, but since we're going to a lot of rural areas, we were worried that it might spoil. This is a big thing in Iceland. It's Icelandic skier yogurt. It's basically just this is the original Icelandic recipe, if that's not focusing. I don't know why I can't get it to focus. But anyway, this is vanilla skier yogurt. It's so good. I had blueberry skier yogurt on the plane. Then we got one onion to cut up for a future meal. And then we got this half thing of bread. I think I showed you that in the vlog. Um, it's an Icelandic bread, and I like that they had a smaller portion you could buy. And then this was awesome. They had butter lettuce everywhere. It was like one of the main 
types of lettuce you could get, and I love that. So we got that to make a salad tonight. We could not find a lot of salad dressing choices, and this was actually just one of the few things that was in the produce area. It's called creme fraiche dressing, and I think it's supposed to be like a cross between like a sour cream dressing or something. It's not supposed to taste like ranch. We're gonna try that. My husband doesn't eat tomatoes, but I do, so I got some cherub tomatoes. And then we got a bag of apples. This is something we wanted to try because when in Rome, this is uh, origin, it says here in the Netherlands, these are currants. And I've only had dried currants. I've never had fresh currants. And so we decided to get that. Uh, wanted to get some honey because there's some really delicious teas. Uh, this was one of the few dressings that we could find and this was actually in the cold section and I've seen this brand in the States at our very same grocery store and it, it was expensive but it was kind of what you would pay for it at home but it was one of the very few salad dressings we could find. It had really good ingredients on the back. We think that'll be good on our salad tonight and then any of you foodies who love Jamie Oliver, he has a whole line of products in Great Britain and they carried all sorts of their pastas and pasta sauces. We got a tomato and ricotta pasta sauce. This is actually a gift for my best friend because she's a foodie and she loves Jamie Oliver. It's a sticky fig drizzle. It's basically balsamic vinegar with fig in it. But we just love the packaging and I just thought she would really enjoy that at home. So picked that up for her for a souvenir. And then we weren't gonna get this, but it was pretty cheap. And look at this, creamy peanut butter. But notice what that says, it's out of focus, but it says USA style, <laughs> which cracked me up. And it actually didn't have a lot of added sugar in it. So we picked that up. I don't know if we need this milk. Uh, we do have some um, non-refrigerated creamers here that our host family left for us, but I got just a little container of low-fat milk in case we need it for coffee. I wanted to try this out, fresh bottled. Uh, this is a blueberry, I think, and raspberry smoothie. Pretty affordably priced. And then, let's see what else here. These just were an impulse buy because it looked so good. And I think I've seen these back home, but they were veggie crisp with a dash of maple. Yum. And then this is our dinner tonight because we are still recovering from jet lag. That is prosciutto and mushroom pizza. So we're just gonna heat that up and then make a salad and call it a day. So that's all the groceries we got at Cronin. And then for the rest of our grocery haul, this was the little bonus bag. Bonus was the first grocery store we went into and we kind of realized that it was a discount place and wanted to check out the other one. And so you can probably tell that we were hungry and grabbing junk food. At least I was, I don't wanna speak for my husband. But I had read and heard that they have a lot of things that are paprika flavored here. So we got some paprika Pringles to try and they tasted okay. And there goes the husband with the Pringles and he's leaving the, leaving the kitchen. Anyway, um, they were pretty good, but I honestly didn't taste a lot of different flavor to them. They just kind of tasted like regular Pringles with a little bit of spice, but they weren't like hot or anything. In case you come here. Um, then we picked up some strawberry jam. All natural ingredients, 100% fruit, because we are gonna make some peanut butter and jelly. We got some more scary yogurt, and look at that creme brulee flavor. So we're gonna try it and see if we like it. And the noodle cups, I'm sure they're not great for you. And they were selling this one on Wow Air for six krona and change, and this was like one krona, so like one American dollar. So we picked some up just to have some noodles, hot noodles on the go, because it's actually really chilly here and very, very windy, and then I picked up a different one. And then I am so excited to try this. I love pear yogurt. I first had pear yogurt when I was in China, and so this looked really, really good. So I just got a little one, but I think if I like it, I'm gonna get a bigger one to take with us on the rest of our travels. And then sour cream flavored Doritos. I never buy these even at home, but again, I was sucked in by the junk food. The Doritos were in full spot. And that's all that we picked up at Bonus. So that was our grocery haul. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we'll have lots of other awesome Iceland vlogs coming your way. But I thought it would be fun to start with a grocery haul. So awesome to go to different countries and experience the everyday things that people in that country do all of the time. I'll be back at Justine with some more Icelandic vlogs and videos. Thanks for watching.